And hello, welcome to Spot Hidden, the show where we play Call of Cthulhu. We have another great show for you this week. We're playing another one shot, and I have a fantabulous cast with me today. Um, as you know, as you can see in this little box down here, I am London Carlisle, your keeper of arcane lore. But please, I would like to introduce these wonderful people here. Hey, y'all. Hey. Check out Hi. these beautiful hey, faces guys. here of my wonderful guests. Um, these are some, some great people here that I've been just like dying to play with um, and dying to make them die in a horror game. Um, yeah. So I hope that's okay with you all. <laughs> no, it's not, London. It's not up to us, though, is it? I guess it's alone. I'm, I'm ready for if it. If you're doing it, I'm in. <laughs> well, thank you. That's the spirit. But no, that's the thing. This is your game. This is all up to you. Um, and the game we're playing tonight is called The Lightless Beacon um, from Chaosium, our beautiful sponsors here. We're playing the 7th edition rules of Call of Cthulhu. Um, and if you haven't yet, pick up this book, grab it, and bring it to your table for some spooky times. Um, without further ado, let's get into the madness here. We're going to start right over here with Amanda. Um, I have a couple questions. Yes. Who are you? Where can people ah. find you? And who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Amanda Domenech. I am one, is it 6th or 7th, Caleb? There's seven of them. Thank you. One seventh of a podcast called Mayday Roleplay. And uh, we do a bunch of things like Delta Green and Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Amanda Domenech or Mayday RP. That's where I'm at. Yay. Oh, and I'm playing Frankie today. I am playing Frankie. Who's Frankie? Frankie is a female boxer living nice. uh, from uh, Coney Island, New York. Noise. She's a, she's a, she's a, she's not the sharpest tune in the shed, but she can punch hard, and I'm all for that. <laughs> Fantastic. We can't wait to play with Frankie tonight. Next up, we have Alejandro. Please tell us who you are, where can people find you, and who you're playing tonight. Hi, y'all. Uh, I'm Alejandro Te. Uh, I use he, him pronouns. I'm the lead game master and artistic director over at Table Tale Games, where uh, you... Yes, you, watching right now, can come play with us. Uh, any RPG that you would like. London's run Call of Cthulhu with us over there. Uh, I'm running D&D uh, &D and Kids on Bikes and a whole bunch of fun things. Um, so, yeah, yeah, come check us out. And we're Table Tale Games anywhere your ats and hashtags are sold. Um, and I will be playing tonight uh, Valdo. Uh, Valdo is a kid on the run. Uh, he has been having some weird, troubling dreams lately, and I'm sure that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that may or may not kill him in the next couple of hours. All right. Well, I'm glad to have Valdo running into our adventure and running to his impending... You know what? Let's just keep moving on. Right below you, we have Price. Who are you? Where can people find you? And who are you playing tonight? Hi, uh, my name is Price Everett. Uh, I am a voice actor as well as a Twitch streamer. You can find me on Twitch at PriceVA, and you can follow me on Twitter at Price Everett. Uh, this is my first time playing Call of Cthulhu. I only have experience playing some Dungeons & Dragons. This is going to be very new for me. I'm ready to get scared. I'm super excited to play with London, and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So, Or maybe I shouldn't be. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. But thanks again for having me, man. I'm, I'm super excited. Good to have you, bro. All right, yeah, who are you playing? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm playing Jeff Carrington. Uh, he is a sailor. He kind of goes up and down the East Coast. Um, may or may not be having, may or may not have some merchandise he shouldn't with him. Uh, and he's a bit rough and tumble, but he's also kind of the mechanic of the ship. So he knows his the ins and outs of some doodads, but uh, might not be the best at talking with people. So that's Jeff. <laughs> that's Jeff. All right. And next up. That's Caleb. Who are you? Where can people find you? And who are you playing tonight? Uh, hi, I'm Caleb James Miller. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ginsburg Song or at Mayday Roleplay, just like uh, Amanda mentioned. Uh, I play with those people every week. We run a wonderful podcast and a Twitch stream as well. Uh, it's how we got in with London in the first place. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to die tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that it happens in the first hour. That's my bet. Um, and I'm playing Eddie Honor uh, today. 
uh, who is a gambler, uh, infamous or famous, whatever it might be, for his game of uh, five-card stud poker. Uh, he's from Hollywood, California. He's a talker, he's a mover, he's a shaker, and he's maybe the first layer of grease that Hollywood ever saw. Uh, <laughs> and I plan on, on uh, sharing that grease with Cthulhu tonight. Welcome <laughs> to the game, Mr. Greasy. All right. Well, let's get into it. Without further ado, I present to you, Call of Cthulhu, the lightless beacon. The year is 1926. The month is April. The day is the 12th. We begin around 8.15 p.m. The Beacon Island Lighthouse, right off the shore of Folly Point, Massachusetts, has gone dark. Now, when lighthouses go dark, bad things happen. And a very bad thing just happened to a passenger slash cargo ship heading for Rock Point, Massachusetts. Sharp rocks stabbed into the bottom of its hole, tearing and ripping, sending the entire vessel sinking down. Now, you four here at this table, you are all on this vessel. How unfortunate. <laughs> the SS Exus County is going down, and the crew hurries you, you know, very frantically towards the rowboats that are acting as the ship's life lifeboats. They load you in, and they all point towards Beacon Island. They doubt you'll make mainland since there is a storm quickly a brewing above you. You can sort of feel the wind beginning to whip around you. You can see the clouds, dark and gray, high above you, you know, sort of um, backlit um, from the bluish dark night sky, moving in, creeping in like fingers interlocking together. Without another word, you are thrust into the ocean. The waters are dark and churning, and all you have to guide you is on Beacon Island. There is a small light, not coming from the lighthouse there, but coming from the small cottage at the base of the lighthouse. This is your North Star. You four are all in that same rowboat. The first one in is a younger person. Please, tell us what Valdo looks like. You see kind of scrambling into the rowboat this little mousy kid. He's got a beat up newsboy cap sort of jammed on his head, uh, kind of a, a dirty oversized uh, blazer on. He's lost his tie at some point in all of this. Uh, and he is clutching a worn notebook to his chest and he cannot take his eyes off of the lighthouse clutching this holding it as if it was you know a life vest in and of itself valdo is thrown back and forth as he's thrust into the waters here he's not alone with him is a more stable sort of figure there please tell us what frankie looks like what do we see Frankie is, I, she is a five, five, um, flapper. Uh, she has flapper girl hair, uh, short Bob curly. And she's actually, she looks, I would say very stocky, almost soft, but like one of those strong men, she's actually very, very strong and powerful in that. But I would say average kind of would blend into the crowd. Little busted up has a little bit, a, a little bit of a, like a, is it kind of an ear from a little bit of fighting she's done, but yeah, she's small but mighty. Small, mighty, and just as shaken as anyone else in this situation. It's very sudden. It startles you to your core. You're not the only one startled here. Please tell us what uh, Eddie looks like. What do we see as Eddie is also in this raft heading towards the island? Uh, tall, uh, Eddie is a tall, wiry, uh, pale individual who is scared out of his mind at this point. He's already visibly shaking. and He's one of those who he has to like support himself with his arms just to get himself into the lifeboat properly. But he's wearing a three-piece suit uh, in, in a slate gray color uh, with 
an open-throated dress shirt that reveals this uh, ascot that's been pulled out and tied in the front. Uh, very foppish. Um, he's starting to show middle age, but he's trying desperately not to uh, uh, present that. So he's quaffed his hair uh, younger than he should, um, and he's fighting off wrinkles with uh, what you can see is sort of like stage makeup almost that's running now in the, the, the waters uh, that we've entered. But he sits very close to Frankie, and he's trying to keep himself composed and, and shaking in the boat. He can't stop talking to himself. Yes, yes. And what is he muttering to himself? Oh my God, well, what are we gonna do? I can't swim. Frankie, you know I can't swim. I'm, I, I just can't breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. <sighs> I need you to just, just hold on tight and I'm gonna grab oh, his shoulder, do... just kind of just breathe. Oh, okay. Shake him. And now someone else is here with you. Someone used to the, the rocking of the waves. Please tell us what, uh, what, what Jeff looks like. Uh, Jeff is a kind of shorter, stockier kind of guy. He looks like somebody who used to be in really good shape, but now just kind of is in as good of shape as he needs to be to do his work. Um, he has a little bit of a, a little bit of a gut, kind of a beer belly going on. Uh, he has a short cropped black hair along with a black beard that has a starting to show a little bit of gray flecks in it. And he kind of is just kind of looking like, man, I didn't want to be on another shipwreck. This is not my favorite. <laughs> you all lurch for douche as you hit something. The rowboat is caught on something. You can see it almost like now lifted out of the water almost as it hangs and teeters and totters. As this happens, what do you do? I think I'm bracing myself the best I can, trying to push the boat down myself and I was gonna jump on the other end, sickness. push it on the other end, trying to get it down. Yeah, I'm just trying to um, basically hold the boat down as much as I can, uh, just kind of grunting with effort, you know. Osvaldo can see that they've kind of got this. He's tiny, his weight is not gonna make a difference. He unsteadily tries to just like, brace himself to stand slightly to get a better look at the top of this at the beacon of the lighthouse oh Ken, are you kidding you gotta sit down sit you're, hey you're gonna blow it out of your hole old man <laughs> kid if you don't sit down you're gonna die now sit down <sighs> fine sit Frank's just gonna glare at his ass <laughs> As as Osvaldo sort of sits back down, the rowboat wrenches back and teeters and totters once more. You're caught on something dark in the water. Now you can either give me a education roll or a spot hidden. Roll. <laughs> oh. He said it. <laughs> it's the name ah, of the show. He said it. Oh man, fast Take a shot. Uh, I'm definitely gonna spot him for sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. And I probably would not have looked if someone hadn't yanked me back down. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Whatever you roll, just you know, just tell us what you have, what that what that value ah. is, and what the success or failure is. Uh, a 41 for a success. Normal. Uh, I got a 21. Of oh, course, I take 70 in spot hidden and still manage to roll a 74. With <laughs> <laughs> I have a 34 over 50. Okay, yes, yes. So as you are all sort of looking there, most of you can notice that you're caught on something of metallic. There's no sort of identifying marks on this metal, but judging by the lack of sort of life on this metal beam, no barnacles and, um, you know, no deterioration, you would know that whatever this piece of metal is, it hasn't been here in the water for very long, right off the coast of this island. The hell is that? There's someone new after it. 
would it would it look like a like a mechanical part, perhaps? You can give me an education roll with a bonus die for your sort of occupation. What is it? What are you seeing? Try to get a good look at it. Uh, let's see. There's education. There. Yeah. Is it a whale? A shark? Uh, some kind of big fish? What is it? Is it? Is it a ship? What kind of palooka are you? Can't you see? It's all made of metal. <sighs> okay. It's a, you need it's to a cool ship. It it's it's, it's got to be a ship. I failed yeah. my roll. Uh, okay. 95. Uh, oh, you didn't roll the education. Education oh, is at the top. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's one of the characteristics. The at on. the top. Yeah. No worries, no worries. Let's see. It's right above yeah. luck, right below size. Right above. Oh, there it is. It's one of the big numbers. Okay. Oh, 15. Hey. There we go. Hard, cool. hard success. Hard success. Yes. Success. Cool. So <laughs> as you need it. As Been Jeff is looking, tonight. yeah. As Jeff is looking at this, you know that this is a piece of a ship. It's totally part of a ship. You know this for certain. Mm. But also with that hard success, I'll tell you that you, in particular, would know about any sort of shipwrecks in this area. You haven't heard of any in a while. Nothing this new is what you know. What in the hell is this? There's no way a ship a shipwreck hasn't happened here in years. And that's not from our boat. Damn, I don't know what the hell this is. I just, I know it's, it's a piece of a boat, but it's not our boat. It's not a boat from nearby because there hasn't been any shipwrecks nearby. Ah. Someone else is after the lighthouse. Yeah, we need to get some dry land quickly. Part of my, I was going to say, can we just get to the fucking thing already? Like, let's go. Like, what are you going to do? Stare at it? See, you've got it. Fair enough. I mean, if they can sink our ship, they can sink this one. Yes. Yeah. And seeing, you know, this lighthouse ever closer, this island ever closer, of course, it makes sense to keep your boat moving in that direction, but your boat is unmoving. It is stuck, firmly wedged on this thing. I'll take a pilot hey roll to see if you can undo this. A pilot boating roll, if anybody has that. I do. Hey there, uh, strong lady. You wanted to get us closer. Uh, how? Uh, I rolled a failure. Uh, 63 over 50. I was going to let him drive the boat. We're wedged yeah, in well, pretty I mean... good. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, what, do we swim? How far? The, oh, you can't yeah. swim. London, can... the shipwreck that we're stuck on, how close to the surface of the water is it? Oh, uh, I'd probably say it's a good, um, maybe like 70 feet. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I mean, how far could the island be? We could jump out, we could try and swim. Swim. No, no, I'm. I can't. I can't get my sketchbook wet. Oh, what's wrong, Palooka? You can't swim now. No, I can swim, you dolt. Oh, I can't I get my sketchbook wet. Uh, hey, you this drawn lighthouse. Thing? No, no, I drew this three days ago. But, what? But if you. Drew I've it. never seen that lighthouse before in my life, only in my dreams. It's been leading me here this whole time. We were meant to be here. Oh, I okay. don't start with all that fake bullshit. Let's get ourselves on the island. Well, if you already if you already know what it looks like, why do you care if the notebook's wet? That's if... a good point. <laughs> Frankie, oh voice of God. reason. Thank you. Well, maybe there'll be more paper at the lighthouse. You can keep drawing on that or whatever. Hey, listen, it might be easy enough for you to say you and your fancy coats, you have everything you ever wanted in your lives, all right? Ooh. Some of us ain't got naught but a sketchbook. Okay, okay. Back, back, back. Calm down, all right? I didn't go to the edge of vacation what these people did, all right? But let's, come on, come on, come on. Common sense. That's the lighthouse. Let's go. I'm not We're going to drown, to go. right? Okay. All right, uh, I'll make a swim for it. Okay, well, who's, who's the strongest swimmer? Because we should put them in front or back. Uh, I don't know how this goes. You, you look like this sort of type of, 
What's your what name, sir? My name's Jeff. And what, yeah, I can swim. What do we do in this situation, Jeff? Do you go first? Do we go last? What ensures I'm not going to die in the Massachusetts oh. Bay? <laughs> Probably best if <laughs> I stay with the kid. He's small, could get swept up in something. Uh, lady, Jesus, you're looking to take care of yourself. Look, look, when we go to the beach, if you can't swim, just go on your back. Just take a breath, go on your back, and float that way. You, uh, you for, have a less likely chance for to everything, drown. For everything that Valdo has been like all just like <laughs> burrs, um, <laughs> watching watching Frankie explain this, he's like, yeah. And he's like taking notes. Okay, all right. Okay. I, I think that. Eddie I is like... looking over the rim of the boat at how heavy those fucking waves are coming and then looking back <laughs> at Frankie's explanation of how we can float through and, and he's <laughs> doubtful at best. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'll tell you all this. In Call of Cthulhu, you can push a roll, which is basically, you can re-roll it. But if you fail again, the outcome will be worse. So, oh, no. I will allow Jeff to re-roll a piloting boat roll to take this boat off the wreckage. But if you well, fail, or you can just go ahead and try and swim. It's it's up to you. The choice is yours. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh. Um, ooh, who knows? Uh, we either sink the boat or we swim. So we're gonna no, probably we end up in the yeah. Water. It sounds like the same thing either way. <laughs> so if we take the boat, we're gonna have to swim. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the wall. Okay. All right. Success. Oh! Right oh. Ooh, so oh, what yeah, changes in your boy. approach? What do you do to get this boat back into the water and on its way towards the lighthouse? I, I take a better look at it. I try to see what maybe what part of the ship it's in, so I can better ascertain its shape, and I try a different gripping method than I did otherwise. And I just, I push, and I push, and I, I get it free. And you rock and lurch whoosh, back into the rough waters. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That are now even more violent. They also seem to just carry you on towards the lighthouse. As now, Jeff, it starts to rain. Jeff, I think you just made me a Christian. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't so useless after all. Thank you, Jeff. As I can breathe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just, let, let's just not worry about it. We just, just get to the damn island. I can't. <laughs> <sighs> Hate storms. Yes. So now, on your way to the island, you see it getting closer and closer. There is this small pier that soon comes into view. Um, this pier and dock. They lie on the northern side of this island. And as you make it, everything seems to get louder. The waves, the wind, the rain, you dock. It feels probably pretty good to finally be on solid ground. But now there's also this... Low humming sound You're as that? you touch down. Hey there, Hollywood, quit humming. That's that's not me. That's not a tune I know. I, I like jazz. Whatever the fuck that is, I'd never sing. Is what? That, that I don't know what the hell that is. Is that you, kid? No, I I only ever saw it. I never heard nothing in the dream. Do, can we can we tell can we like pinpoint where it's coming from? Um, yes. Give me a listen roll. Okay. Oh, a horrible failure! An eighty-six versus a fifty. So you're not really able to tell exactly where it's coming from, but as you can see on this little map here that I have on roll twenty, you're all up here. And in front of you, as you're walking along this small trail here, there is a cottage. This cottage is attached to the lighthouse, which stretches up into the sky. The clouds are now in full coverage as rain pelts and wind howls. And that ever-present hum continues. What do you do? It's like it's coming from everywhere. Do we notice any, um, like, small buildings near what by we could get for shelter or anything 
or just just the main lighthouse so right there you see that there there's the main lighthouse is all you can really see but there is a path that continues on uh, around around the place if anybody wants to give me a mechanical uh a mechanical repair or electrical repair I might be able to give you more information on the humming okay Not loading, it's fine. Never went to school for none of that stuff. I mean, yeah, well. we could chance and I wouldn't. <laughs> that would me. One the most fun. Can you still not see the map, y'all? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. I got a oh, 60 right. versus a 70. Try it get... now. Jeff for the win. Yes. I saw it for a brief second. Not now? Let me see. Please. Jeff, Jeff is swiftly MVPing this. Why are we even here? I know. I, that's, I'm like, I have a punch. I'm just going to sit. Dude, Jeff is killing yeah. it. It's the law of diminishing returns. Eventually, she's going to get, like, really bad. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you still can't see the map. Not yet. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. You know what? We don't need it. Basically, yeah. what I'm saying oh, is yeah. that... <laughs> All in front of you, you just see this trail. Um, to your left and right is just grass that is growing up, stretching towards the sky. And in front of you is that cottage attached to the lighthouse, which stretches up. And with that, that roll, yes? Can I take a look and see if any of the other lifeboats made it? Or if I can see any sort of boats or dirigibles that are on the shore here? Yeah, yeah. No rolls required. There are no other boats or anything that's around. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> with that mechanical repair roll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Jeff, you've heard this before. I mean, this has to be an electrical generator. Like, this is the backup power, and it's running. It's going. Well, guys, I think that's a generator. At least it means we got power here. I can't exactly tell you where it's coming from, but I don't think it's anything unsafe. Oh, there's power here. That's that's for certain. That's freaky as hell. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going in, and I'm just going to walk off. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm in Frankie's shadow. Uh, I'm <laughs> coming. I'm coming. Uh, Let's get out of here. It's, no. <laughs> where were the other boats? That, they were sent in the same direction, weren't they? Good. Uh, I mean, who cares about the, about the other boats? Point. We're here. You think we're the only ones that made it? Oh. And what if we were? Yeah, uh, Mita. If we're so, the only ones, then how are. Who's who's gonna come for us? The cottage, the, ha the, the there's got to be something there. There's just there has to be something there. So, right, right. If if someone's running the generator, then someone has exactly. to be here to turn it on and off. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, yeah. Let's. Main important thing is we gotta wait out the storm. If we can wait out the storm, we can worry about getting out of here later. Yeah, and I want to get out of this rain before we get too soaked. Okay. Cool. So as you push towards the cottage, give me spot hidden rolls all around. Oh no! Ooh. Oh boy! Ooh. I, I, I failed. Yep. My Hawkeyes seeing everything. Fifteen versus a seventy is a hard success. Uh, I failed. Let's see. A uh, success with a 70 to 70. Really, mm, it was nice. very good for me to pick a 70 because that's all I'm going to roll today. <laughs> <laughs> right under the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie and Valdo, you notice these small animal footprints that are all around you. They sort of go up towards the cottage. They go around the cottage. Yeah, they, they go towards the cottage. They, they make a left following this trail around the cottage. Yeah, yeah, but Valdo, what you see is under these footprints, deeper, larger boot footprints as well. They don't go inside. They come out and go around the lighthouse, still following okay, so, the trail. So putting this together, I'm I'm getting from this that that people with boots on came out a while ago. That That, those tracks kind of softened and then animals were running around here what what kind of small animals are we in like like deer territory or like fox territory or mm, uh natural world role okay 
<laughs> wow, I rolled so good. A 27 versus a 10 is still oh. a failure, though. Oh, man. Uh, maybe ducks? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, yeah, we got those back home. Those are great. Um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll share all of that and go, um, see, there's, there's people here who can help us out. We just got to find them. Well, we should follow these tracks. We, we follow the tracks, we find the keeper, and he gets us off the island. Well, sure. So following the boots, then, you're saying, not the... Right, why would you follow the ducks? The... No, we're not going to follow any ducks. We're, we're going to well, find the lighthouse keeper. I, I thought. That I don't know. Sometimes in, in natural disasters, animals are a lot smarter than people. You think the ducks are going to sail us back to Massachusetts? Well, they would find someplace safe to hide out. I think we're talking too much about ducks. And Eddie starts walking away <laughs> down after the boots. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to follow Eddie. Yeah, I'm going after. You're heading for the, the lighthouse, right? Because I'm uh, shoes, pants, wet. That's most likely where they're at. The, the, the spot hidden check said that the boots were around the lighthouse, lighthouse, not in it. Right, London? Yeah, yeah. So you got pretty much two paths here. Like right in front of you is the lighthouse. You can yeah. see the cottage there in front of you. The door is even slightly open. There's a steady glow of lights that come on from inside the lighthouse in the, 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 the cottage there. And okay, then these the tracks the wrap around outside of the lighthouse, going in a different way. Sorry, so everybody. I, Freddy's going straight towards that. Yeah, towards the Just cottage, I think. Okay, cool. So are you going in the cottage or are you going around and following where the tracks go? The tracks are coming outside of the college, from outside of the cottage. Hmm. I'll how, go whichever how, direction Frankie goes. <laughs> I, I hate to say, you guys can go around. You guys can look at the ducks all you want. I'm going to go get dry. And I'm just going to walk towards the opening and I'll just push open the front door. I'm not going to just be like, hello? Jeff's just going to say, Frankie. I never liked ducks that much anyway. Just go into the fall, <laughs> Frankie. Ducks. Okay, cool. Cool. Wait, so, so who's going to the tracks and who's going inside? Sorry. I think we're all going to the cottage because Frankie's leading the charge and, and we're following suit. Got you. All right. Perfect. So you all push inside the cottage. What you see inside the cottage first, there is this warmish glow right in the entrance way, straight down the hallway. There is a spiral staircase that goes up and to your left. And then to your right are two doors. The closest door on your left also has a warm glow coming from inside. The next door is dark. And then the two doors on your right are also dark. What do you do? Hello? Hello, we need some help. We're castaways. We had a shipwreck. We need some help. Uh, Jeff pulls pulls out a flask that he has in his sh pants and just takes a swig of it, and just puts it back in, just grumbles. All right, help. Uh, Valdo is is was has been listening very carefully to the group, but more than the hum, uh, and and heard something from Frankie earlier, and tries to catch your eyes, Frankie, and says uh, a, a little quieter tu no sabe nada de este faro yeah mi uh, mi español es muy malo uh, mi papá he he was the one um uh, he spoke spanish he passed and i love i i get that i i understand um Okay. Um, ooh, you brought up my dad. <laughs> so that kind of, uh, just thinking about that, I'm just going to kind of just nod and kind of just at, blank out for a minute. I look at Eddie and just go, do you understand a word of that? Um, uh, yo soy un alacron. And then uh, I think he's going to move towards the, 
the light uh, door, the door with the light fixture on the inside glowing. Um, and he's going to try and get a peek through the, the light. Okay. That's you. Opening that door, um, I can tell you uh, that what you see once you open it, it seems to be appear to be some sort of study. That light grows and glows as you open it. Seeing like the small flickers of electricity giving you the room. To your left as you walk in, there is a table. It has uh, several things on top of this table in here. There's also a couple of armchairs. There's another sort of writing desk, one of those writing desks that you can flip open and everything. Also off to your right, the far other corner of this room. Uh, now, that writing desk, this table over here, they both have chairs that accompany them. The one next to the writing desk, the chair is whoosh, just like kind of flopped over on the ground. This is what you see as you come inside. And also on that table to your left, there's just different sort of books and other little trinkets there as well. What do you do? Does, does this room look like there's been some sort of scuffle with the knocked over chair or does this look like this was accidental? Uh, intelligence roll. Okay. Oh no. Um, am I smart this time? Let's see. Uh, I am. Success. Oh, extremely success. successful. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you would know that, um, you would figure that whoever stood up from this desk knocking over the chair, it was in a complete hurry. Some sort of scuffle is definitely possible. Somebody getting up from the writing desk that quickly. Uh, 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 um, everyone, you should come in. I think there was some sort of struggle. I, I think there's something wrong here. Uh, and I think I'm going to start looking at some of the papers that have been pushed in the scuffle, like anything that's been displaced on the desks uh, to signify whatever he was doing or they were doing before um, the struggle happened. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that there is nothing on the desk. It's closed. But just even toying with it, you'd be able to see that it's unlocked and you're just able to be flipped up. Okay. You see stationery, envelopes, stamps, uh, you know, papers, bottles of ink. There's even a cup of coffee. Half drinking, but as you open it up, a little bit of steam rises up off of the cup of coffee. That's something that you see. Someone was just in here. a real big hurry then. Yeah. Uh, what were they writing? Like, were they in the middle of reading or writing something? Well, yeah. So what you see is there's um there's a bunch of coin appraisals. Oh. Different quotes from different people about coins that whoever this is, they took them to get them appraised, get a price on them. And you're just seeing all of this stuff. There's letters about coins. There's a catalog of coins. Um, and you also see several letters from antique stores, librarians, universities, all about coins. Hey, fancy man. It looks like this is, uh, your bag. I'm going to assume you're talking to me. You said fancy man. I, do you mean me? It's definitely not me. Okay. I just wanted to assert I didn't want to offend. Yes, I'll take oh. a look. Hey. <laughs> Library use. Daddy. Fancy man. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem. Hashtag fancy. You know what? Oh. <laughs> we're, we're playing fast and loose. I'll spend the 12 luck. All right. Ooh. 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 Cool. So you're paging through these papers on random coins, and you see that mostly everything is in like chronological order, right? The first mm -hmm. is dated March 8th, 1926, while the latest is dated April 2nd. 1926, like 10 days ago, right? The last one is this, which I shall show you here. You can read it if you would like. Eddie. Sure. Uh, if you April, can read it. April 2nd, 1926. Dear Mr. Cassidy, thank you for your letter dated February 28th of this year. I do indeed recognize the coin you described, or at least I recognize the style of decoration, for we have a piece of similar origin here in our museum in Newburyport. As a result, I suspect your coin hails from nearby Innsmouth, 
and only the locals of that benighted town could tell you its true worth, to them at least. However, if you value your immortal soul, I strongly caution you against contacting any denizens of that place. No good ever came from dealings with Innsmouth. Instead, the Newbury, Newbury Port Society would be glad to purchase any coins you may have from you at market value, once their authenticity has been confirmed. If you would care to make arrangements to visit me here at the Society's Museum at your earliest convenience, then I can arrange to have our appraiser examine the coins, whereupon we can agree a fair price for the sale. Again, Mr. Cassidy, I urge you most strongly not to approach anyone in Innsmouth about your find. It really is for the best of all concerned. Yours sincerely, Miss Pinna Tilton. Well, it seems as though Miss Tilton desperately wanted to make some money after, Miss, after Mr. Cassidy, enough to make up some sort of lies about this small town. I won't lie. That's I, more I, than I, just a lie. That's pretty outrageous. Almost slander. Your immortal soul, what's that about? I, I, I didn't hear anything past an immortal soul. Yeah, once you said that, I was a bit... That's that a new one. took my attention away, you know. I, to sum it up, uh, this woman wanted to make some money off this man uh, from some coins he clearly found either on this island or what have you. She made up some sort of lie about these people of Innsmouth and told him not to sell to them, to sell to her. That... I, I've run cons like that before. It's pretty cut and dry. You no shit. Look, Listen Frankie, you so, talk shit so, enough about a person, and I, eventually you scare away the other buyers. I mean, yeah, I respect well, it. I well, mean, up. You, you... wait. Do you think? Do you think something went wrong then with the sale or something? Uh, that maybe they came to collect in in a rather aggressive fashion. I well, mean, they if they were just here. Them. Unless these are the dull coins, maybe there's other coins he took with him. I'm a fake coin. Kid, I that means they're probably just... still here. You, you've got a point, kid. I think you're onto something. You know what? You would make a great con man. Oh, good. Oh. You could for Wait, an apprentice. I mean, really? you, you think so? I mean, like. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I mean, I've I've stolen my way onto a couple freight trains. Well, you keep that eye on you and a, a fresh poker face, and maybe we can do some dealings. Hey, we all find these coins. Maybe we won't have to worry about being shipwrecked. <laughs> Okay. How about we yeah. how about we worry about getting off the island before Right, right. In little... Incidentals, absolutely. Uh -huh. But when the time mm -hmm. comes, we should keep an eye out. Whatever this is, this Pinna woman seems to think she was onto something. Okay, and whatever we find, we're splitting evenly. Right, oh, Eddie. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Of course. Uh, I've never left anyone out in the rain. I have a feeling that's tonight. not true, Mr. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I am offended. Uh, Jeff, was it? I, I cannot believe that you would say that to me, but I understand. I get he, that. He's Trust good. Deserves. He's actually all right. He, he's yeah. all right. But you just, I keep an eye on him. And I'm going to slap him on the that. back, like slap him on the back of the shoulder. Be like. So. Hey, um, you there, um, uh, old folks. I just was thinking of something. Um, yeah. if the hum is going that's the generator, right? The yeah. the light though was real dark, like in a dream. You know, you're right. We didn't see any lighthouse coming in. Uh, Do you think that's why we crashed? Well, no. I mean, it's it's worse than that. In the dream, it's it's been shooting darkness out of it like a torrent. Like all it's got is shadows inside, not light. You. Well, uh, that generator's got to be powering something. If it's not the light, it's got to be something else. It's running this cottage, right? I guess so. I... What do you mean darkness is light? That doesn't. That, those are opposites, kid. Yeah, you. I can really... only tell you. I can only tell you what I've seen in my dream, and it looks exactly like this. I mean, I'm a great artist, okay? It looks exactly like that. You really weren't kidding about these dreams, were you, kid? No, it's freaky shit. I think I think it's why I was on the boat. I mean, I didn't really have anywhere to go, and there wasn't anything for me in Rockport. I just 
I just felt like I should stay on board somehow, get on board, sneak on. I don't know. It was like a pull, like a like a magnet almost. So you have these dreams, and then you decide you ought to buy a, a boat ticket. At least I hope you bought a ticket. I mean, uh, that would be dishonest otherwise. Um, Is that like sarcasm? No, I would never. So this is... You're telling me you think this is faded, that we're stuck here, that I was by providence put here to find coins. Well, I mean, if it's like you said and they're going to make a fortune for us, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe we've been all brought together to be like, you know, some kind of pact of fortune seekers and we're all going to be rich and famous out of this. Right, as long as we avoid the darkness uh, in the lighthouse. Eddie, you're not buying this, are you? Not at all, but there's oh, money involved. Okay. Well, I no, love no. a good story, though. The kid has a great story. We ought to tell this back when we get to Massachusetts. I... There was a lighthouse, there was darkness, the ship crashed, treasure chest, we're all rich. And we never speak of that uh, Pinna or, 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 or any of those people in that letter. It's a good story, kid. We ought, we ought to keep it. Am I the only one that just thinks that we should just sit on our asses and wait till a storm passes and not? No, you're not. But thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Jeff. Listen, there's this whole thing with coins, coins, all that kind of stuff. If you want to split the money, I'll take part. But frankly, I just want to sit down, take a drink, take a nap, and get the hell off this rock. I, I see your point, I do, but if someone on this island has the coins, then the only way we make any money is if we find them. And if he just hey. ran out the room with the treasure, I think it's All worth right. a look. And I was thinking, story or not, if we get this lighthouse going, someone will come for us, right? Okay, that makes sense, getting the lighthouse turned on. That Maybe sense. that's what my dream was about. It's up to us to put the light on and then everything will work out okay. That is a great story, kid. Maybe so, but if we're, back, we're already running on a backup generator, there's no guarantee we'll be able to turn on in the first place. Well, you fix the boat. You can fix a lighthouse, right? Well, I'd ha I guess, but L listen. Fine, we'll go check the lighthouse out. Go look at it. I can figure out what's wrong with it. Maybe. Fine. We'll go look at the lighthouse. You're you're a reasonable, all too generous man, Jeff, and we appreciate your company. Yeah. Well. Daddy. I, I take my flash back out again and take another swig of it and then put it back in my oh. in my pants. London. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Do you mind? It's been a it's been a long night, Jeff. I, I look at him and I just say. Not too much, and just hand him the flask. I take a little too generous of a sip, but I, I hand it back before uh, it's empty. Valdo is like waiting in line, just assuming it's going to keep passing around, and is just like, right. Oh, shit. Sure, kid. Uh -uh. Pass it to nope. Valdo. Nope. Uh -uh. Nope. 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 <laughs> what are you, my mother? No. <laughs> no, I'd leave you on the side of the road if that was the case. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so here's how if we're going to go do this really quickly. Vol Volo, just yeah. stick. Can you just, just for the sake of my conscience, can you just stay near me? Just stay by. I want her off. I don't just... Sure. I if mean, you were my kid, scared, I would leave I'll you, but right... I just. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll stay right next to you if you're scared. Okay. I mean, I can even hold your hand if you want. Uh, And I'm going to grab you by the front of the shirt. <laughs> really <quick. laughs> um. Don't mistake me being a good person and trying to, no, nah. do you, no, nah. I'm not scared. Do you understand? Sure. Do you understand me? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I got it. All right. Jeez. Awesome. Hey. Ah, great. Yeah. Sorry, kid. The, the last person that ever accused Frankie of being scared, of, we don't talk about him anymore. I mean, well, he can't talk because he has no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> steel jaw situation it was great we actually had to pay for the surgery to avoid a lawsuit it was a good night i was well i'm already missing i, I get it you're I'm trying gonna... to scare me now but like i'm i'm not scared so <laughs> don't want to do that thing about... really quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah also jeff kind of also just goes like 
<laughs> Listen, Val, baby, if we're going to do the run around around this lighthouse, you might as well tell us everything that happened in that dream. Is there any pertinent details you'd like to remind us, like maybe you have a mental illness and you're going to stab us at any point or, or maybe hey. some hocus pocus that was in the dream? Oh, that's good, Eddie. That's good. Listen, you're you're a Hollywood kind of guy, right? I was, mean, I am Hollywood. It was like was a born. serial, but it was like it was like just like one shot. It was just one shot, just slowly sort of zooming in on this here lighthouse, and just as it kept going in, just darkness pouring out of it. Give me a power like roll, Valdo. Oh, sure. Oh, my take. I, it was great playing with you, Tay. Goodbye. <laughs> well, no, I'm trying to see where this is going. I want to know. <laughs> uh, that is a 92 versus 80. Ooh. Okay, cool. All right, keep going. In that case, just keep going. And then, you know, it was almost like I was the camera and it just was drawing me in and just like, like I was floating kind of just out of my body sort of. And then I woke up and it was like I was heading toward the lighthouse and it took me a, a long time to realize it wasn't no dream or it was still a dream. Was I still dreaming or weren't I? I'm, I don't know anymore. I mean, well, I'm you're not, awake I'm now. Honestly not, so mm -hmm. how do you know that? Well, I'm awake, so I'm assuming. You know, kid, you got the gift of gab of maybe that. You can tell a story. Never mind that. Send him out first. Okay. Let's uh. This this dream stuff is freaking me out. Can we just can we just go look at the light? Yeah, yeah, I think we ought to. Flip. London, really quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, you said there was a couple of chairs. Uh, one was turned over. Uh, are any of the legs loose? Or yeah, you can try them in this room as you as you try them. You see yeah. that they're kind of they're they're very sturdy. Um, you can try to just rip one off with a strength roll if you would like to. I I would actually like to like kind of pick one up and like use the desk to break one off. Yeah yeah, give me a strength roll please. Please. No. It, oh. it slams into oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it comes back in one piece. These are these are very well crafted chairs. Like they are sturdy. They are solid and beautiful. But I'll tell you was this: that was that supposed to happen? Oh, it's the rain. It's the rain. It greases up the chairs. Don't worry about it. I didn't say it was the. Sm Eddie's the one who thinks. All right. I was just trying to look up something to. You know, we're on a lighthouse, and he's having weird dreams. I don't know in case he goes crazy. So you, you want to break what? a chair? At one of the lakes, so just in case this one went crazy, I would just like, you know, for, in the head. For me? You are talking some weird, spooky, <laughs> Dracula stuff. I, I, I don't want you to- just a dream, all right? You, you think I'm gonna try and bludgeon you over a dream? No, but you're talking about premonitions of weird lighthouses of darkness, and I, it's getting, I'm getting spooked, okay? It's a comfort it's just, leg. <laughs> it's a comfort leg, thank you. It's that, a dark what? house. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't stand near me. You're kind of creeping me out now. Listen, as uh, misguided as the attempt may have been, I think Frankie's in the right place. She's looking for provisions. Maybe we should find a lantern and check the other rooms and see whatever it is this coin man has to offer before we go to the lighthouse. My sure. answer well, I can, I can see that I'm not wanted here anyhow, so I'll start and uh, and I'll head out. Um, okay, as, as, as Valdo is walking, something catches your eye, especially since you're the one sort of leading the charge out of this room. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. I mean, everybody else is kind of hanging back for a second. Everybody else might notice that even the, the writing desk, it has like more drawers. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that it has like, a, like some drawers on the left and on the right. Um, they're, they're closed up, but um, they notice that as you leave. But as you leave, you notice a couple of watercolor paintings on the table next to the door. The oh, first one that's, that's right. propped up. Yeah, it's propped up there. It appears to show a window. And in that window, there is a dark shadow. It has these wide eyes that leer through the glass pane. In fact, this is the same window that's right next to the artist's desk there. 
Give me a sanity roll from seeing this, Valdo. <laughs> okay. So I rolled I rolled a five versus an eighty. Oh, and I, I don't I don't necessarily know exactly what that would mean in Call of Cthulhu context. So you can tell me it is way off base, London. But I almost wanna say like it, it almost feels like this is validation. Like the validation that the adults in the room won't give me. I'm seeing this, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not crazy. My my dream is real. <laughs> Egg exactly. Exactly. I'm a, I'm gonna point it straight out and I go, look. Do you, do you all see that watercolor there? Yeah, what about it? Okay, Ugh. look at the window. Creepy. That's Holy window. shit. It's a window. Whoever was here was having the same dreams I was, probably. Or they were painting what they were seeing. But that... But that cre... I, I won't lie, it is very cre... Uh, I, I would like to turn it around, but... Everyone else, sanity rolls. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, okay. success, thank God. All right, Eddie. You can do this. Come on. Come What's on, a Eddie. sanity roll? Come I don't on, even Jeff. Know. Eddie, what do you got? Oh. I did good. I did, did good. good. Go, team. Nobody Go team. loses any sanity points. Oh. Team sanity, one. baby. Let's Look, I, I get it, kid. I've been around creative types my whole life. I know how it goes. You want everybody to believe, and you'll look at anything that even remotely looks like a light as a green light but buddy there's no darkness in that lighthouse we gotta stop mm. thinking this way wait hold on there's there's like literally factually darkness there like the light was not on so that's a lie you're just lying to me now look whatever you thought you saw in your dream this painting it isn't it hey listen i'm not in your head Thank God above. And you're not in mine. So you quit telling me what I've been or not been seeing, okay? Okay. What makes you think that that painting being like that means it's something connected to your art? That's what I don't understand. How can, you, you're saying you're sharing uh, dreams with somebody, man. Look at it. I get that, but you're saying you're sharing dreams. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't Maybe see I was sharing dreams. I'm just saying that like having a weird dream that you want to paint immediately upon waking isn't like weird or whatever no it i'm not is saying weird. it's a, a, the, the whole situation's foobar <sighs> okay so say it is exactly what you're saying say you're both seeing something what does it mean what do we do about it that's what we should go find out right now and i'll keep heading out <laughs> uh i i think i want to keep looking around this room i do still want to try and get some provisions out of the cottage as much as possible oh. i'll be right with you kid i i don't believe it yet but i'm with you okay okay eddie, eddie i'm just gonna i can't, I, I can't he just, he's a piece of shit, but i like i'll, I'll be Frankie, right i'm just Frankie, gonna go after him he's what like 13 uh, you know 60 pounds soaking wet we all told stories. You know me. I was just like the kid. Be nice I'm, to him, okay? I, I'm, that's why I'm shutting up. But the, the painting is just the window that's right there. Just FYI. But okay. I'm going to just go ahead and kind of keep my distance and follow Baldo. So I'm, I'm going to investigate that room, but I'm definitely going to keep glancing to where that painting described the pair of eyes. Mm, got you, got you. And Jeff, um, are you staying with Eddie or are you going with Valdo and Frankie? Uh, I'm going to, Jeff seems pretty intent on trying to figure out how to get the lighthouse back up and running. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with them. Okay, cool. Got you. Got you. So you all step back out into the hallway. Eddie, you're looking at that window. Give me a spot hidden roll. Oh, no, London. That's <laughs> not what you're up. supposed to say. Oh yeah. I thought you're you wanted to look. To say that there's, oh no. <gasps> I rolled a 99 versus 70. That's like uh, I, real bad, right? Can I push this? You can. I think my rationale is that Eddie's really shook by what uh, what Valdo you know, propagated <laughs> oh, no. here. And he's really worried. Like, as much of a front as he put up, he's worried. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, what a oh. difference a oh. goal oh. makes. Oh. We went from a 99 to a <laughs> 6. Extreme oh. success. <laughs> oh, shit. So as you, your approach changes as you look out that window. With the extreme success, I'll tell you. It's almost as if something passes by the window. Nope. Going back behind the lighthouse. It doesn't stop and stay. You don't see wide eyes leering at you. You just see a quick flash of something, a shadow. Frankie? There's somebody outside. There's somebody what? outside. What? There's somebody outside. I will go ahead and uh, <laughs> rush out the uh, red run to the door see if i can maybe it's the keeper i'm gonna run towards that cool yeah so you run to the door um outside you can see it's like a torrential downpour now everything is coming down the wind is whipping the the grass is, is swaying in the wind and that's all you see you don't see anybody out front but whoever this was they must have run behind the lighthouse what do you do eddie you, you, you... There, you said you saw someone here, or what? It was it a ran bird. Right or... past the window. I, I swear I saw it. It was just like the kid said. It ran. It ran straight through the window. It was straight. Past. All right. It was fast. Whatever it was, it was. Fa whoever it was, whoever it was, it was fast. I'm gonna. Oh, Amanda wouldn't do this. So Eddie's gonna. <laughs> uh, so Frankie's gonna go ahead and go around the corner to see if they can see who ran by. Okay. Right behind Frankie. All right, cool, cool. Been Jeff? a pleasure, Amanda. Jeff, <laughs> am, I, am I close enough to um, to the kid? Yeah. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just look at him and go, we don't need to wander too far off, and we're going to go try and meet up with Eddie. Frankie told me to stay by him. Uh, and I go just went outside. Go, God yeah. damn it, and I chase after the kid. Yeah, yeah, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, you're alone in this room. Um, it's just, again, it's just some some chairs that are down, a stack of watercolor paintings besides the one you saw over there. The desk is still behind you with drawers, um, sort of just like there. The top is now flipped up. What do you do? And your friend's London, outside. London, do I know they all left? You would, yeah. You would be able to hear them sort of mm. head out. Oh but there's so many things in here I need to touch. <laughs> this is a debacle. Okay. It's better to touch it by yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's usually <laughs> Not how... Not like we uh, can come back to the room. <laughs> what kind of a game would it be if I didn't touch that... myself? Let's do it. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, so long, Caleb. I'm going to keep looking through this room. Okay, cool. I mean, that's fine. Perfect. I, I think the he's loyalty. sort of cowering away from the window. He's going to shut the door behind him. Uh, is there a lock on the inside? Yes. I'm going to lock that fucking door. Okay. Um, and I'm going to continue looking through that uh, that open uh, room. Uh, the two <laughs> drawers that were locked, anything else I can find in here. All right, cool. So as you're doing that, Frankie, Valdo, and Jeff are running outside. You can feel your clothes now sticking to you as you were just drenched in this downpour. It's almost simultaneously as you cross that threshold outside of the cottage. Lightning strikes. You can hear the loud sound of thunder booming and almost just knocking you back. But you circle around that cottage and it appears that no one's there. But um, I'll show you a picture here. I think I finally can pull it up. Uh... So this is the lighthouse uh, here. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you can see that um, as you're running back, you start seeing different sort of uh, buildings. And of course, there is this big thicket, this almost like forest like as you as you're walking back. Great cover. Is anyone in there? Hello? Hello? Silence. I, I'm just keeping eyes peeled on the thicket behind, like, I, like I'm like around Frankie's side, just like peeking around Scooby-Doo style, just like looking at the thicket. Uh, yeah, you do that. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, Jeff's just going to be like, listen, th- there's nobody out here. We just, we need to get back inside. It's wet. I'm yeah. cold. Sorry. I thought it was like the light keeper. That's I why. get it. But I, even right. the fancy man said he saw something. There's something. It could have been a blast of lightning that trick of the light for all we know. Look, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's wet. We don't know this terrain. There could be a ditch there. Let's just go. There could be snakes here and don't mess with snakes. Let's, let's just go. As you're turning back, you see those footprints that you saw at the beginning, those duck prints, those boot prints. Now, as the water's coming down, they're very quickly being washed away. Hmm. Baldo, let's go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking if, I mean, if we wanted to see where these tracks went, this is our only chance. <sighs> Jeff, uh, I, I, who cares about I mean, fucking ducks? I, I don't know, but like, <laughs> I just, I can't. Is it the li- is it like is it the light keepers track? But it's duck tracks. It's uh, and I I want to I want to look right at Valdo and just look at him. So listen, you're getting soaked out here. Ducks live everywhere. There's gonna be duck tracks. We need to get inside yeah. for everybody. One of us gets pneumonia and dies of that. Now now just to be clear, it's not just the duck tracks. It's also the boot prints, right? That's all getting washed away. Right. And they all seem to head towards that thicket. Okay, how about this? <laughs> I'll, I'll take a peek. I'll see if the light keeper's here. And if not, I'm going to come back. But you two, just get him inside. Just, just do that. I got a feeling the kid's not going to leave you alone. So. Listen, I'm just saying, if, if someone's trying to kill someone over coins or, or whatever... If we look into the tracks, we go inside. Sure. There we go. Yeah, okay, fine. let's look at the tracks. And I'm going to walk towards the the brush. You walk towards the thicket. Yeah. Footstep by footstep. The loud sound of rain and wind and the hum of the generator. You follow those tracks. They're quickly being washed away by the pounding rain, now, almost like an eraser against um, a pencil. The world gets dark around you as those trees cover your view. Whatever ran by, it had to go this way. You're sure to stumble upon it, right? You stumble upon something. Everyone here, give me a sanity roll. That's fair. That's very fair. God bless. Failure. Success. A 94 against an 80. Boom. Both of you did 94, so that's 94 to 70. Okay. Those failing lose two points of sanity as you were just completely sort of disgusted. Um, success means you lose one point of sanity, but you all see a corpse. So does that mean I just I just changed my number from 70 to 68, right? Yep. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. You see this corpse... This bloody mess of a corpse. The innards have been dragged out from its body. And its body, the lower half, has just been completely slashed, trampled into the dirt. It's almost like you don't know where the body and the dirt, you know, stops and begins. But it's fresh. Whoever this is died recently. You can see their face just looking up towards the sky. A mustache on their head. And just messy hair of this guy in his mid Probably like early 30s, dead. What do you do? What the fuck? Uh, uh, I don't think uh, those were ducks. <laughs> no ducks I've ever heard of. Okay, we're getting the fuck back in. Oh, um, Jeff, watch my back really quick. Um, I want to see if there's like, did, obviously the pockets or anything. I want to see if I can find something like either identification on the guy or hopefully a gun or a pocket knife or something. Just see anything so, who this might be. Yeah. So Jeff does carry a handgun with him and he just is like, he kind of shakily pulls it out. 
Yeah, keep that out. Keep that out. Yeah. Watch my back. Gotcha. Cool. So as you're opening up the sort of the, the jacket pocket on this guy, you see a badge. Bureau of Investigation. The name says Warren Thomas on it. You also find an empty concealed holster. But in his innards, tangled amongst the intestines, you see the handle of a 38 special, Smith & Wesson. I am... I am going to... <laughs> I am going to look away, but I am going to go ahead and reach down and pull the thing out. It's warm. You feel it yeah. sort of squish and... <laughs> 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 As you pull it out, this gun coated in this dark red, you can only imagine. Um, It has five bullets remaining in the chamber there. And you have this. This 38 special does 1d10 of damage. And you can add it to your sheet, or I can add it to your sheet, but now you hold this in your hand. Um, this is not because I don't want to look at the guts, because I, I'm, I'm fine. It doesn't weird me out or freak me out or anything like that. No, no, of course, that's not the reason. But I'm going to look around the body to see if there are any, like, blood trails off further, just so we can get a sense of, like, whatever did this, like, where did it go? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Spot hidden. Oh, it's a 28 versus a 70. All right, cool. So as you're looking around, you're looking for any sort of trace of this. There's no tracks, but the blood trail. It seems to stretch out deeper into the thicket, uh, deeper um, going south of where you all are now, south towards the edge of the island again. It heads there, is what you can see. Um, I, Listen, somebody's dead. We need that, to get yeah, inside. That, does, that doesn't even look human. I think there's... Uh, whatever these killer duck... Fuck, let's just get the fuck back in there. I'm just gonna grab Bolt and just start pushing him towards the... I, I'll, I'll let her push me, but I will, I will take, like, one last look just like for a brief moment look at the body just to like remember the placement remember where the arm is remember where whatever that is i don't know how that connects but i want to be able to sketch this all later <laughs> Ooh, got you also Len, i'm gonna make sure i i would have taken the uh badge okay with me got you got you got you as you're all heading back give me luck rolls do a little group That's luck fair. roll for you three. Oh no uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend my one luck point because it's a 51 over 50. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> spending that one. Okay, it looks like we have three successes here. Great. Yeah, I don't trust this. <laughs> uh-uh, hell no. Jurassic Park's happening. <laughs> All right. Let's watch us from the woods. <laughs> so you're heading back. You don't see anything else that's after you as you're going back to the lighthouse. Inside the cottage, Eddie Honor has That's been searching me. around. Amongst those watercolors, you found other paintings, very nice, but one sticks out to you. Okay. You see several buildings in this painting, but most of all, you see this thicket. It looks just like the lighthouse that you're in is, in the, is behind this thicket. And in amongst this thicket, amongst this small forest, you see the shadow of someone, a shadow of a person painted right in the midst of it. You found this. Also looking around this room since you decided to stay back, you find that the left-hand side of that writing desk was open. Mm -hmm. Inside, you found a wooden box, a green velvet lining in this box, holds the shape of a revolver that's missing. Six bullets lie loose also in this box. But the drawer on the right-hand side was indeed locked. Let's see if you got in that. Give me a lock pick. Locksmith oh. roll. 
Okay. Just to see. Let's see. On Eddie. Oh, with my six. Uh, 90 versus six, I do not get in. Take the chair and whack it. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, you don't get in. As you're fumbling with it, your companions stumble into the place. Um, don't I go can't... outside, Eddie. What do you mean? Uh, I'm not going to go outside. I saw somebody out there. I don't want to deal with some sort of... Uh, I'm going to put the badge down on the desk and be like, there's a dead fed just in the trees. What? There's a dead fed in the trees. <laughs> like the brush out back, but... I'm going to lift my bloody hand up with the gun. I'll be like, there's a dead fed out in the trees. Hold, hold on, I'll do you one fucking better. And I move out of the room that? and I go, I go get the watercolor and I shove it in their faces. I saw your dead fed. Kid, what the fuck are you dreaming? What's going on? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I down the rest of my flask. <laughs> okay, but there's got to be more. There's yeah. got to be a reason for all this, right? He's got this locked shelf in here. If someone can bust into this, maybe it'll give us some more information. And I found uh, this 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 uh, gun holster. Whoever whoever had this place, whoever that body was, he was carrying a weapon with him. I I don't want to waste a bullet, so I'm just gonna kick the uh, that de like at least the drawer to see if it'll break. Yeah, give me a strength roll. <laughs> Come on, don't fail me. Yes, 29, hard success. Ah, uh, yeah, so your foot whoosh, slams into it. Uh, yeah, so this thing just slides open. I'm running off the adrenaline. <laughs> Inside, there is a small journal. And I'll show you what this is. There's several entries in it. And this will be what we end on before we go to break. But here oh, is God. here's what you find. These journal entries. And there is text below the pictures if you would. That would help. Oh, man. Do you want us to read it out loud or? If you would like to, or you don't have to, or we can yeah. discuss this over break. <laughs> or read it over break or, you know. <laughs> whatever you would like. I'll read the first entry if someone would, everyone else will. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right, yeah, February dude, 13 and 26. Middle school style. I found <laughs> something on one of the walks, a coin. I kept walking and found another. Uh, I know it's gold. I found some mechanical parts as well. It looks like it might be from a ship. Must have gone down recently, but I don't recall hearing anything about a wreck of late, unless it went down last night, Storm, when... The light went out. I better keep this quiet. I don't want the other two here to get a slice of the action. I will keep this journal in the means of documenting my findings. This has to be worth a mint. February 16th, 1926. That coin catalog I bought in Folly Point is useless. One thing I know is that the coins are old, real old. I've asked if I can stay on for as long as I can until I'm sure there's nothing left there for me to line my pockets. And I have to find a good lead on these coins to go where the money takes me. Maybe I should write to some of my old colleagues to see if they can help. Colleagues is in scare quotes. <laughs> should probably try some of those fancy antique stores in Rockport while I'm at it. March 10th, 1926. The coins are getting hard to find. The two new crew members aren't helping matters. Makes it difficult to search without being noticed. Hope they don't cause me any trouble. Even so, I've filled a small purse which I keep on me at all times. April 3rd, 1926. I've got a good lead now. I'll be sending one more letter to Innsmouth. Then I'm confident I can get off this stinking island for good. I think Michael is watching me. I have bought a gun just in case. April 11th, 1936. Smith said he will uh, leave the lighthouse tomorrow morning. He says he doesn't care if it avoids his contract. He's had, um, 
He's had enough of this island and everything on it. At least that's one less pairs of eyes watching me. Still stuck with that sneak Michael, though. Smith says the radio busted again halfway through talking to the bosses. He said there's a fix for it before he leaves. Counting my coins just to be sure he didn't lift any off me in my sleep. I've seen Michael peering out the window, spying on me on my daily walks. I'll have to be a bit more careful. April 12th, 1926. Smith left without a word. Me and Michael didn't even see him go. Didn't take his paintings with him, which is a bit odd. Lousy rat didn't even repair the radio before he left. I'll get to it later tonight. Michael has gone to check something outside. Seems paranoid. I think there's more than just tobacco in that pipe of his. At least I get more time to write. No word from... And then it just cuts off right there. And with that entry from this very night, this journal is closed. And a rough sketch on the cover of it is an obelisk that looks all too similar to Valdo's drawing of that lighthouse. There's darkness up there, that's for sure. But soon that darkness would enter into the lives of our four investigators here. We'll see that after our break. And we're gonna break! <laughs> all right! <laughs> yes, having a great time with you all. We're gonna take oh. a quick break here, five or 10 minutes or so, uh, but we'll be right back with some more Call of Cthulhu from Chaosium. All right. All right. Woo! All right. See you Processing all soon. Right Thank you, right. chat, for being here. You know, uh, Thank we got you. the Mayday crew here, Black Project Gaming, Vince. Um, yeah, awesome. Vince. See you soon. Peace.
And we're back with some more Call of Cthulhu. Um, we're hanging out with a great cast of characters tonight, playing the Lightless Beacon from Chaosium. And we're having a great time. Let's have everybody back. Hey, y'all. Wow. Woo! Woo! Dogs! <laughs> what are your feelings? Um, what's the game? What is everybody thinking about the rest of this? Oh, this is wild, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so crazy. Because so, something, something bad is going to happen. For sure. Don't be the first one to die. Or don't die like a sucker. Mm. I'm, if like you're I'm asking, falling downstairs. Yeah. If you're exactly. asking Alejandro, or if you're asking Valdo, the answer is the same, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just, you know... I'm, Jeff, yeah, wants, Jeff wants to actually right now is just to get super drunk and just to for, like just to just to forget about this. He just wants to be done. He's just, he just Jeff is. We already drank all his whiskey, so he's he's just <laughs> he's just suffering. <laughs> so where would you like to begin? As we push out of the study, our heroes or our investigators here they are standing out in the middle of this hallway. Again. Straight down the hallway are those spiral stairs that go straight up. There's also three more rooms here in this hallway. Um, one directly across from you and two closer towards the uh, stairs. What would you like to do? I, I, I actually want to clarify something first. This, um, this, these notes, this journal that we found, is there any identification on it because we don't have a name for this guy yet right like we have michael and smith are his fellow lighthouse keeper people but we don't know who's who we found right right so um this would be uh mr cassidy sort of the same a person that was addressed in that letter that you found that's earlier. right that's right oh that's um, right pelton can i check can i check the badge that we found to see if the name on it is cassidy Yes, you can, and you will find yeah. that it is not Cassidy. It was Harris or something like that? Um, what yeah, is, so it, it was, um, let me see, I have it written here. Um, Warren Thomas. Tom. Warren Thomas. Uh, he was probably mentioned in the letters at some point, right? Yeah. Thomas. I mean, what was an FBI agent doing on here? Get off in the room. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so I'm trying, I'm just trying to put all this together, right? So, like this Cassidy fella, he starts finding these coins, right, and is is real nervous. Someone's gonna take them from him. Okay, fine, that's good. He talks to uh, to this Tilton person over in Innsmouth, and and then what? He 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 calls the feds. He he gets hunted by whatever did that. I mean. Why over over a bunch of coins? And was that his gun that was in that guy's gut? I I I don't know. I don't know any of this. But this Smith person, he saw something. I, I mean, look at this note. He said he's going to leave the lighthouse tomorrow morning. He doesn't care if it voids his contract. He's had enough of the island and everything on it. And then, in the same breath, the radio dies. I mean, he trapped them here, right? I, I feel like I can see through a con, and, and that's a con. Smith left these people, right? Well, uh, Jeff, can you um, can you fix this radio? It, they mentioned a radio. It's broken. Can, can we, I, that, that, that sounds like a good idea, right? And like, Smith is the one who painted all this stuff, too. Uh, yeah. He, he saw all of this happen. He planned it all. So so maybe he's the one that did it. And he, he's still on this island. He came back for those coins, and he's going to get us next. Hey, fancy man. I know that you weren't out there. You didn't see what we saw. But it were no, were no man that did that. No person, no human. It was something else. It's like some beast. A beast? This is Eddie. an island. We, we can see it end Eddie. to end. What he was, he was shredded. Okay, that was like, that's not what we can do. Shredded. Yeah. So. The only type of way I've ever seen a man injured, even somewhat close to that, is in a machining accident. Oh no! And there ain't no machines out there. So, 
I think the best course is to, I think we're all in agreement to get off here probably before whatever animal or guys with coins snap. Like, I, I think that's, that's, that's my vote. Anyone else? Yeah. Second animal. Okay. So let's make sure no one else is here. And then we start the radio or the lighthouse. The radio is or... broken. We'll have to fix it. Well, let me take a look at it. Yeah. We'll have to go into those rooms we haven't checked. <sighs> or well, up those stairs. This room's for Jeff. Do you have your you, you get, you gun ready? Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. We need light. I guess I never specify what kind of gun it is. It's also like a revolver. Um. Yeah, I actually gave you a, a gun on the the, cool, the break okay. here. I gave you. Um, tell me if this is okay. It's just a thirty-two automatic handgun. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, just casually, just you yeah. know. Yeah, I'll take a thirty-two. That's fine. Right. Here's a gun. Do. Hey, we're from yeah. Alabama. Uh, that's yeah. that's usual. Yeah. For his neutral special, gun. he wields a gun. <laughs> <laughs> London, looking around the rooms that we've already been in, none of the spooky rooms that I don't want to touch yet. The ones we do know about, are there any lanterns or any sort of light that I think we could take with us into the other rooms? Um, it doesn't appear to be any like freestanding uh, lanterns in anywhere that you've seen. Um, but there's like the, the electric light that's there, like the light bulbs that are, that are on in that one room. You've only been in one room. There are three more rooms you haven't been in. But then, of course, yeah. maybe the light from outside is filtering up through the top glass if you go up the stairs so london i'm not going up these goddamn stairs you need to get that out of your head <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing about a lighthouse in any of these descriptions for this game we're gonna stay down here we're gonna play patty cake until the boat comes <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna play patty cake <laughs> Okay, well, give me, give me, broken, a, give me a luck roll. Is that roll. broken radio in the room? Give me a luck roll? Oh, no. Everybody. Luck roll. Oh. We, we, we took too long. We took too ah, long. This is because I told him I want to go up the stairs. No. What did you do? He's rebelling. Ooh, I'm a oh, lucky boy. Yeah. Uh, three versus 50. Uh, 64 I... versus 75. Nice. I failed. Ooh. Ooh. I failed. Success. Yeah. As you oh. step out into the hallway, you do see that there are two oil lanterns hanging on hooks on the side of the hallway there from that extreme and that hard success there two oil lanterns there you're able to Ooh. get those going um and be able to see you are a kind and benevolent dm i will climb the stairs at some point i promise you if you live <laughs> if you want to um, I, I i actually i actually want to okay well i'll do this in character i Whoa. i think i think we should go to the top of the lighthouse i think i think we need to turn it on as fast as possible i mean jeff is right if there's a boat that's going to come and get us off this rock they're going to need light to find us but and what we know about that thing is it's off in the thicket we saw the blood trails all right it goes off and hell if it could rip someone apart like that i mean what could it do to these doors I mean, we, we don't want to to be down here low where it is. Let's get up there. Let's fix that light and let's see if we can get someone to get us off of here. Well, I... Jeff, can you? I'm gonna. I'll I'll go first. Can you be the last one since you're armed, just in case yeah. nothing comes up? Yeah, again? that that'll that'll uh, God that'll work. I know. There's one thing. Aren't we worried if we trigger this lighthouse that whatever this is will know we're here? Well. There's only one way up, so at least we won't be surprised. Are we that... ready for a showdown with whatever this is? What choice do we have? I don't know. This is, this is I think ironic. she's right. I think we just got to... Uh, it's All a right. risk we're going to have to take. No more what if there's no more something thinking. in these rooms that we're missing out on? What if the answer's in there? I, I, I no, mean, no. how? What, what good could do us? We don't even know if the light will work. So let's just do this. Let's go ahead and turn on the light, and then we examine everything else. 
So at least that way, if any ships come by, they'll see us. Okay. And if, okay. And you and just stay in between Jeff and I. So we're going up there? Yeah, we're going up there. And I'm just going to go ahead and start walking up. Oh God, I'm gonna. I'm I'm right behind Frankie, <laughs> wherever Frankie is. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at Eddie and just go. I got your back, Hollywood. Let's just get on with it. Okay, sure. You climb the stairs and you reach the service room of the lighthouse. Now the way this thing works, there's the service room and then the actual light is above all of that in a separate room. So you go to this service room. You can see the mechanism that's used to turn the lamp is high in the ceiling above you all. You can see sort of a separate set of steps that lead up through a trap door into the light room itself. Now, in the room you are in, there are several boxes. Just looking in them, you would see that there are just bulbs, spare bulbs for the light itself. They're just in all of these boxes here. There's also um, a small workbench, a tool bag, um, and you see this log of all of the repairs and service checks that have been done. All a routine. Um, the only thing that kind of stands out is that on February 12th, some wiring problems caused the lighthouse to, like the lamp to prematurely burn out. But this was fixed. It was in darkness for only several hours and this was repaired. That's the only sort of hiccup that you see. That, that was the day before... He found the first coin, was it? All yeah, right. Probably the light went out. So let's just get a spare and take it up there. And Jeff, you can, I feel like you know how to do this better than I would. I, I guess, I mean, I'm more of a mechanic, not a electrician. I, uh, yeah, I just, I'll... I just beat the shit out of people, man. That's all I do. Is, is there I any, tell. is there any, uh, while they're discussing, you know, where the extra lamp is or whatever, is, is there any obvious, like, damage or, or anything that we can find anywhere that, that would show, you know, that a wire's been cut or, or something like that? Nothing here. The only other thing is that there is a, um, radio set on that table, um, in disrepair. I'm gonna take a look at the radio. Cool. Electrical repair. Electrical repair. Okay. Not my specialty. Now we'll you got shot. this. I'm putting good vibes. Nope. Never Ooh, mind. Failure. Oh, Eighty God. versus thirty. No. Oh, would you like man. to? Would you like to push it? See if you could fix this radio. It worked so well in Act One. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody what could go wrong. If I fail again, no, like I could just bust it. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm thinking like lightning's gonna strike you. That's what. Yeah. I'm um, <laughs> I went to a dark. I just gave one an idea. I mm, ooh, no, I didn't. Uh, no, you don't have to. I, I'm just I. I'm gonna just say, damn thing looks busted. I don't know if there's I can what I can do with it. All right. Let's just let's just see what we let's just see what what we're looking at, and I'm just gonna I'll grab the tool bag. Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't know how big this other light is, so I don't know if I could carry it or someone else. Because I have also, I have the gun in the other hand, just so someone can grab the light. And I'm going to go. I'll grab the, the other. Room. I'll grab the spare light. All right. I'm going to the light room. Cool. It leads to a trap door straight up through the ceiling. Yeah. Um, and so, Frankie, uh, Jeff, uh, you all, you're all going up? Okay. Uh, Wherever Frankie's going, I'm following. Gotcha. Yep. Cool. Going so. Up. As you go into the uh, lighthouse beacon itself, you're greeted by a wet, bloody scene. Gore. Fuck! Now, the two panes of glass in the lantern room's windows have been completely shattered. The, your hair is just whipped by the wind that is swirling in this lighthouse. The rain blows through the gaps, and... As you try to put your hands up there and get good solid footing, your foot just slips on glass and in, in, in blood as it takes a minute to sort of stabilize yourself. Now, you see the corpses of two men. Oh. Along with that, from two bizarre for fish like creatures, four bodies total. Now, one of the dead fish things is latched onto this man's neck by its teeth. 
he has his big beard. He's wearing sort of the light um, lighthouse workers garb, and and his neck is just sopping with blood from this creature that's attached. Uh, the creature's not moving though either. Yeah, all these things appear to be to, to be dead here. What the fuck are those? No, that no, that's not good enough. Can I? Can uh, I? I want to really make sure that they're dead without getting closer. I'm like paying very close attention to any like rising and falling of of chest cavities or whatever the hell this is. I I'm looking for any even slight bear movement. Uh, no roll required. They're dead. Okay. Oh, um, but you can give me a sanity roll. Oh, That's yes. fair. Every, everybody, yeah. Yep. Ah, sweet. Oh, no. No. Okay. Uh, so everybody loses one point of sanity, but instead, uh, Frankie, you're going to lose four points of sanity as this oh. carnage mm. is far beyond anything you've seen in the ring. Now, yeah, maybe someone gets knocked out, but that's but right. not like this. In fact, the other man's body that's there, it's very strange looking. They're garbed in this heavy hooded raincoat. Um, he appears to be suffering from some sort of skin condition. He has a gray, rough complexion. And these big, bulging, watery eyes stare sightlessly into the beyond. Bullet wounds are in his body. Let's get I'm this immediately light. sketching, and as I'm sketching it out, I'm going, okay, all right, good. Uh, bullets can kill him. That's that's good. I'm going to wow. drop the tool bag, and like, I'll be like, Jeff, can you just at least take a look? And I'll, I'll get close to it, and I'll like, have my gun on those how, things. How in the way are the two bodies for me being able to get a good oh. look at the uh, at the light bulb? Um, you're able to step over them if you're careful. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna step over them and, and take a look at the uh at the uh the, the, the big light. Okay, this will be a mechanical repair roll. Mechanical repair, okay. Are they? Oh, failure. <gasps> Ninety versus seventy. But it's so good. You have such good skills. Why? Yeah. I don't know. That's been uh, happening to us a lot. I'm gonna. I know. I'm, I'm gonna push it. Push it. I'm gonna push it. Okay. No, Ooh, it's, oh, oh, it's so much worse. Oh, oh, it's ninety-eight. What? Oh. So. Oh my God, I got nauseous. It's almost as if this carnage around you is just getting to you. You aren't able to focus on what you're doing here. The wind is blowing, the rain is coming in, and you can see even sparks of electricity flying off of the light itself. Perhaps it wasn't the electricity that was the problem here, but now it is as you're just watching this thing being drowned in front of your face. There's nothing you can do. This bulb in your hand will be useless as you stand here with only the light from outside illuminating what's here. And just in that moment, as you're looking into this darkness, at least there's light below. You hear the hum, the ever-present hum of that generator die. The lights below you, the power below you is off. Everyone else, give me listen rolls. No. No. Oh no. How? But it was just Oh no. Oh, thank God. Hard you success. Need to, need to 24 to 55. And Eddie, you hear the pitter patter of feet coming from somewhere below in the lighthouse. They're they're more, below us. More than they're coming. One. To, they're on their way. There's there's more than one. They're on their way. I, I, we, we gotta hide somewhere. We, we we can't be here. If they're coming up here, we can't be here. I think Eddie is scrambling from the furthest point from the entrance, you know, as far away as he can get from where that sound came from. 
I'm assuming Although, they're still transfixed on the on the bulb. Valdo, you would like to be. Valdo looks at Frankie, just a scared little kid, just like, what do we do? Um, I... <sighs> uh, just find a place to just find a place to hide find a place to hide and i will uh, 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 okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna stand at the entrance like near there because are, are we going down guys or are we staying up question i'm not going down are you, are you kidding me okay. i'm staying okay. up here okay okay but what, what's in the tool bag what what tools do we have in the tool bag you see like a wrench some screwdrivers and you know um like like some nuts and screws and things like that Okay, I'm gonna grab the wrench, hand it to uh, and I'm gonna be like this. Anything come near you, you whack the shit out of it. Okay, you stay, but stay, uh, hide, hide behind, hide behind the bodies. I don't know, hide there. They're dead. Just hide. Okay, Uh, I'm gonna go near and try and hide amongst the bodies. (laughs) Okay. Great, great. Tight. That's how I see it. <laughs> One last thing while we're here. Give me a spot okay. hidden roll, everyone. We're dead. Okay. We're dead. Oh, my God. Oh, please, you two. I hope. Okay. Uh, got I rolled a 41 versus 70. I rolled a 99 versus 70. I actually did it twice, and I failed the first one. So. And, uh, yeah. uh... Valdo's eyes drift out beyond the lighthouse. You're in the very darkness where your dreams began. And looking out, you can only imagine that there is desolation. There's only the absence of hope in this beam of darkness that's shooting out. Perhaps it's shooting out from your very eyes, from your very soul. But no. There is the tiniest bit of hope as looking out southward down at the crashing and churning water. At the edge of a small pier, you see a yellow raft there floating. And off in the distance, you see Rockport, the faint glow of the town. The rock quarries right off the coast there. It's right within reach. And I'll give you um yeah, I'll give you a little should have put it. Uh, I'll give you a little map here so you can see. The rock port's off in the distance, way over there, but there's even mainland close to you here. And you can see this from where you are. There's a raft, there's a raft. There's a way off there's a way off the island. If we can just get there. Okay. Have to make a run. Haul have ass. To make a run. Haul ass. Am I able to move now? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm like, we, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Tell you, uh, I am going. Uh, well, it's behind me, Eddie. Let's move, and I'm just gonna go down. I'm just gonna run and gun in front of me. Whoever right. has lights, hold it up. <laughs> I'm gonna get Val coming with me, and then uh, follow Frankie down the stairs. I'm right behind him. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. So as you are coming down the uh, down that trapdoor there, down into that service room where the spiral staircase starts, on the ground floor of the cottage, you can see these things reach the bottom of the stairs. They look vaguely fish-like. They have these long spines that come off, like the, these spikes that come off the back of their spine. They're almost like anglerfish in appearance as they're small with their duck-like webbed feet and these claws that hang over their, their hands as they're hunched over. These wide bulging eyes on the side of their head as they look up at you. There's at least two or three here oh. as they look up to you with a <laughs> sanity rolls all around. God, it was the ducks the whole time. Fucking ducks. 
I have rolled a critical failure. I, Extreme success. I have I, failed. I also failed. I got a I, I got a five versus a sixty-seven. Great. So everybody lose four points of sanity, um, except for uh, Price with that extreme success. You lose one, yes. Seeing this inhuman creature, this mind-bending thing at your feet, and it looks like it's out of blood. What do you do? We're on the stairway, correct? We're still on... It spirals below you, and this thing is about to climb up there. Okay. I'm going to aim my gun and shoot at it. Likewise. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Jeff, uh, if you can go to your combat sheet sure. and click click that uh, click that gun there. All right. Ah, failure. 66 is 40. So you fire as you see the blink, like the sparks hit the bottom of the railing as it goes off. It seems to even anger this thing as it feels its life being threatened. Frankie, what are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and take a shot, too. Okay. I also failed. <laughs> oh, shit. It goes past it, it again. It. It. Uh, I, Eddie, you know what to fucking shoot. I don't, that's not my job. Shoot it. Would you just fucking hit it already? Waldo, anything from you? I'm a kid with a sketchbook. I, I'm <laughs> cowering behind Frankie. I'm, okay. look, I'm honestly looking for the moment that we can get past. Like okay. the, the moment I see an opportunity, a window to try and like dash out, I'm yeah. taking it. Yeah, yeah, give me a dex roll. Oh. Uh, no. Success 48 over 60. Okay, oh. cool. Tell me what it looks like as you're going down this spiral, spiral staircase and past four of these creatures. Four? Uh, I, I think the first shot goes off and it's a surprise and the noise is just echoing off of the like concrete of the lighthouse and it's just deafening the flash all of it but it prepares for that second one when the second one goes off i take the opportunity and i rush past hoping that my speed will outrun like before they can recover from the flash of the muzzle so you're smaller than even these juvenile things as you weave in and out, ending up on the other side of them. These things are between you and your companions here. Eddie, what's going on with you? Anything that you would like to do in particular? I see Val take off after the second shot, and there's this moment of hesitation where I think Eddie even sort of squeals to himself thinking that he's going to have to do this. But he can't let Val go off alone like that. He can't watch the kid die. Calls out, wait, fucking wait, no! And he runs off after him, uh, trying to repeat the same thing. Obviously bigger and a little clumsier, but but trying to keep pace with Val so he doesn't have to go alone. Yeah, yeah. So a dexterity roll, please. Okay. Oh, my God. Can I push it? You can, yes. Most definitely. I'm at a 90 versus 60. I would love to push it. Oh, that sucker! God. What did you just fucking roll? I went from a 90 to a 5. He, he ran with the speed of a man half his age. Extreme success. What does that look like, Eddie? What does that look like? So I think to to sort of write in the 90, he's running in between and one of them gets in the middle and he, he has to dart back a step as it like rears back up at him. And he gives it the swift defensive, like the fucking best soccer kick he can to get it out of the fucking way and then run straight past it. He's like trying to hide streaming tears and just trying to keep up with Val. He's tripping over himself. He has to pick himself back up, but he makes it finally. The two behind um, turn in your direction as they see Val and Eddie. I'm calling you Val now. Um, (laughs) Go after you. We're being chased by fishmen. It doesn't fucking matter what you call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> so so now these these fishmen, they start their ascent up the stairs. Um and they're going directly for um Frankie. Yeah. As are. as you're firing that shot there, um Jeff slightly behind you fired the first shot. 
Um, but this fishman with these long claws, this little thing, is going to swipe at you. Yeah. Um, and it swipes just past you. Another one runs up with another uh, swipe there. It also misses you. Um, it just soars past you. Um, and you now have a moment to sort of like kind of weave between it um, down. Going. Got you, got you. <laughs> My there boxing are, training came in and I ducked and I dipped out that song. There or are, jumped down the stairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there are two more that are now sort of making their way, not directly up the stairs, but climbing up with this like fish-like, almost frog-like jump um, agility as they're going up to claw at Jeff. One makes a attack. Oh, now that's a good fucking roll. No. <laughs> I rolled a three versus, oh, versus a 45 no. there. That is definitely an extreme uh, success. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, three versus 40. Yeah, yeah. Not Jeffy. No. no. Oh, my, my name gosh. <laughs> Jeff, throw the gun. <laughs> Blow, okay. your brains out. Blow your brains out. <laughs> No, what? <laughs> okay, so here's what happens. Okay. Oh, I don't. So you take five damage as this okay. thing, like, oh. launches at you with claws that sink into your body before its teeth oh, just sort of latch down into you. Now, back around, Jeff. What are you doing? Uh, you said the teeth are in me, right? Yep. Uh, so I'm going to make an effort to try to get this thing off of me and try to chunk it. Give me a strength roll. Okay. Oh, my strength's not great. Um, okay. Ah, success. Yes, sucker. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is a success, but not a good enough success as oh. you're using all of your might, but it's not working. This thing is still on you. As it does three more points oh, of God. damage as the teeth seem to latch harder into you. I got five hit points left. Um, okay, before I do anything else, I'm just going to call, like, yell down, just like, make sure the kid gets out of here. And then, I, do I still have my gun on me? Uh, you, you do. Yeah, wait, wait. You, like, have, you, you have uh, five left, you said? Five hit points left, yes. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to just try to put the gun right up on it and just pop. Four, you don't seven. need it here. Wait, wait. You started with you started with 10 hit points. I, I had 13 on my hit points. Uh, oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, I, I want to like, put it like dead up on it and just... It's probably going to blow my eardrum out, but like still. Got you. Yeah. You don't need to hear. So, did I roll an attack roll? Basically, for this turn... Trying to get it off would be everything you could do. Okay, I got you. I got you. Next up, uh, Frankie. Um, You're I'm now on the hurt. other side of these things. There's two more in front of you. And on the other side of that is Eddie and Valdo. What's going on? Yeah, I'm going to run like a freight train as kind of fast. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, because uh, I'm not as, yeah, I'm going to have to just barrel it and hopefully one doesn't get too close where i can just pop it but just i'm just gonna have to blow past these guys dex oh jeff Success. it happens oh, you're on the other side of, of these things you're completely on the other side of these things these things are still going Ooh. like um and now that eddie and valdo are on the other side wh wh what's going on with you two i'm running for the yeah, yeah taking, taking off it for i the think boat. Gotcha. I, there will be time to feel guilty about jeff later yeah <laughs> right now it's just pure survival mode <laughs> oh shit okay great yeah so the ones that are behind <laughs> four v one say it like couple. that london the ones that are behind so the one that is still on you Oh my goodness. Let's roll it. Let's it hits again for four more points of damage. I want it. <gasps> as no. it sinks both of its claws one into your back as you feel these spikes go into your spine. You feel yourself go immobile 
as it almost sticks your abdomen out, but that abdomen is almost popped by another oh. spike that goes in the front. You're barely uh -huh. hanging on. What are the thoughts that are in your head right now, Jeff? I'm thinking of my family, my parents back in Savannah. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the three that just got away. I'm glad they got away, but I'm also pissed that I didn't. And I'm thinking of some of the weird sailor stories I heard while out on the out in the Navy and on all my sailor expeditions. And none of them were ever this bad. Jeff, I, give me yeah, sorry. I just shouldn't it, it, yeah, I just that's all I could think of. I just it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be this bad. <laughs> give me one more strength roll. Strength roll? Okay. See if you can get out of this. Hard success, 20 versus 60. My boy. That's, that's how right. we do it. <clears throat> you wrench these claws off of you as you're free. Give me a dex roll if you'd like to try to run away. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. oh. No! Oh, oh yes. 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 Let's go. Boom. Oh. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh. Frankie, Valdo, Eddie, and fucking Jeff. Fucking Jeff. Book it out of that lighthouse, wrapping around <laughs> the best they can, heading for the south shore to the oh, pier, God. to the boat. What do you do as you make your way past the thicket, down that, that dirty trail, past the rocks, onto this yellow raft that bobs as you there? It's almost as if the storm is even subsiding a little bit. As beyond you, there are those lights of civilization and hope that Valdo saw up top. What do you do? Ah, I'm booking it. I, I think that- I'm trying I to catch up that, with them. <laughs> I think you, that, you make it. Um, the, the situation is so intense that all senses are just firing. And, and I think that as we're running, I'm still like, Threat alert, threat alert, threat alert. Like, like, where's a, a place where I might trip and fall? Where, is, like, is another one of these things going to burst out? Like, I'm trying to take in everything as we're booking um, to make sure that, that it is actually clear to get to the raft. Yeah, and you do, and you make it to the raft, yes. Stumbling in. Yeah. <laughs> um... Is there like a paddle? Are there paddles on this raft? Or yeah, yeah. Is there an yeah. engine? Okay, so um, it's paddles. Yeah. I'm gonna give the gun to uh, uh, Val. I'm gonna give you the gun. Uh, yeah. Just anything comes up, point. I'm gonna grab a paddle, throw the other one to my boy Eddie, and I'm like, fucking paddle, like bookies are after us. Do you want to fucking stand me? And I'm yeah. gonna just start going, just start paddling like a mother. I'm with you. We got this. We got and this. I, I just, just I collapse in the boat. Yeah, you you rest. I, you rest, Jeff. I am like I am I am, I, I feel like I, I feel like I pass out. Take a nap. Flat out. <laughs> great, great. And as you paddle on towards civilization, it's 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 that hope is ever present. What? Well, <laughs> What so what, what is that? No, it's not what you got. Let's see it. Oh wait. <laughs> you were waiting for the punchline, asshole. <laughs> no! The punchline was the four freaking fishmen that were gonna rip you apart and get Jeff and like eat him. No. Nah, but you circumvented it. it. Yeah, what uh, what else is happening? I'm waiting. I uh uh. I got a bat now, so what do you got? Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm a better fighter than I am a shooter. Let's go. Jeff, Jeff's just, <laughs> Jeff's just, Dude, Jeff's taking a nap. Yeah, Jeff's <laughs> taking a nap. He's taking a nap. He's taking a nap. My gosh. Okay. He's hybrid. 
<laughs> Everyone that's up and paddling, let's get some dex rolls just to see how quickly oh. we can get over to get over to land. Oh, hard yeah. success. Twenty four. Success. Thirty seven out of sixty. I'm interested to see what land that is, London. Okay, I'll Mother I'll, f I didn't even think of that. I'll sh I'll show you I'll show you a map though. Yeah, see will you? Me? Yeah, Watch. it's a no, it's this one right here. So as you can see on here, uh -huh. you were at Beacon Island. It's that next little point there. You see that like the oh, closest volley point. Volley yeah. point. Okay. Yeah, oh, right volley. Uh, mm. Oh, volley. Uh, that's comforting. Why are you so distrusting of me? Uh, question, question. Do we see any signs for In's mouth at all? I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay. But anyway, anyway, you land. Um, after uh, after quite a while here, um, those successes kind of speed up the journey as you're powering yourself with the sort of the desperation of getting away. Valdo does not for the entire time take his eyes off of the beacon. And I think it's just like very uncomfortable. This is probably the first time he's ever held a gun. Um, very uncomfortably just like holding it, staring down the barrel of the gun to the broken lighthouse. Mm. Got you. Got you, got you. But everyone else would see um, another yellow rowboat docked um, sort of where you're heading. Um, spot hidden roll again. Aha. Except for Evaldo, since he's not looking. <laughs> I fail. I failed it. Okay. Um, Caleb, what you got? Um, oh, thank God. A success, 56 out of 70. You would see that it looks exactly like the one you're on. Same size, same shape, same model. Oh. What? What? It's from the island. It's the other robot. What? What? It must be, it must be one of them. Someone survived. We made it off, right? That's that's good. That means that we made it off, right? That means we're done. That means there's no more of those things, right? That's what that means, right? I I have a very scary gut feeling, but can I take a look around really quick, London, to like really see if? Yeah, yeah. Give me give me another spot hidden if you would like. Yes, you... please. Yep. I, I I have a scary theory. Do you think he has the coins? Oh, I, I, I oh. have a, a hundred fail. <laughs> no. You don't see anything else. I don't see shit. Okay. Um. But what everyone would see is that um, stumbling away from the raft is a shape, is, is a person. A human. I'm going to. Human size. Not like the little fish creatures, but stumbling away from it. I'm firing. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. fair. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm firing. I'm, I see something moving. I'm terrified. I'm firing. Okay. Um, oh my god. god. It probably won't be good. <laughs> oh probably just, my god. We killed the other FBI agent. Oh. Uh, it's a fifty versus twenty. I don't hit, but whoever they are, know that we're here now. This rings out. They turn around, and instead of running away, they start like waving their arms. I'm gonna. Grab the gun from Val really quick. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, just grab a rock. Wait, do you have the wrench still? No, you drop whatever. He's he's he falling. I, I I try to I kind of feebly try to hand Eddie my gun because I'm in oh. no shape to. I'll to take it or anything. Hello, I'm just gonna shout to the person waving. Hey, you here? Wait, what the fuck is it? Say that again. Hi! Hi? <laughs> Hi! No, no, no. Eddie, put the gun up. Put the gun up. Now. Who says hi like that? I got a person. <laughs> what the f No! Mayday! Mayday! Role play! Role play! <laughs> <laughs> um... Mm. Uh. Okay, uh... Look, you gotta say something else or we're gonna fucking shoot, man. 
He just keeps Hi! waving. I'm gonna shout it like how he did. Hi! <laughs> and as he stops for a second, and you can see he just kind of like trying to get a closer look and now not being as sure of waving at you. Human. He's human. Put the, put the guns okay. down. What's your name? He doesn't he doesn't res respond to this as oh, now he fuck? just kind of kind of walked closer towards the raft. Uh, uh, how how close up are we to being in like conversational distance? You're getting closer and closer. Now this was about I'd say like uh 50 feet out of yelling and it echoing and being able to hear it. You're getting even closer and closer now to Doc. Okay. Just stop right there. Just stop. Just stop. I was like, I, like I don't know what. The, just, what do we do? And Jeff just kind of grumbles like, "Why well, it have to be ducks? Why well, it have to be ducks?" And he's just kind of like, <laughs> kind of grumbling. I don't know. He comes from the same place we do. Maybe he saw them too. Maybe he's like us. Oh God. Maybe he has the coins. All right. No. I'll I'll give you one last thing here. An intelligence roll for everybody, and I'll yeah, maybe sure. feed something. Oh, maybe I'm an idiot. Feed I'm not that smart. If if we roll good enough. Aldo rolls a hard <gasps> success with a twenty-one versus seventy. I, I'm gonna push my well. I have a fifty of sixty, a success. I'll, okay, I'll tell well. you, Val, Valdo would know. Oh, oh, okay, Jeff too. I'm going to hold off. From those journal entries earlier, remember it was um, the main guy uh, talking about there were two more people. Yes. Yeah. So now there is the corpse in the thicket. There was the two corpse. Well, one of them was like a fish person up top. Right. And one was a guy up top. Right. Okay. There's a third body unaccounted for. Body unaccounted for. I'm I'm going to stand up shakily and I'm just going to call out to this person. I'm I'm just screaming out over the storm going What what were they? What was that back there? This person drops their hands. Just walks forward to the to the to the raft. And looks down. Do you continue into port? Or do you circumvent this and take the long journey to Rockport? Get on the fucking boat. I'm gonna shove Eddie. I'm gonna sh I'll grab. <laughs> I'll shove it. Push him back towards the boat now i'm gonna yeah you're still on up. you're still on it do you want to go into oh. port or do you want to stay on this thing and just oh, sort of uh, take a longer way around nope i'm gonna start grabbing that paddle <laughs> we should go in go in take we the long way in. no 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 that's not normal we've been through not no shit i want to get the fuck out of here he knows what happened we should go in you that curious? The coins, Frankie. I I say this, we 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 made a lot of money. We can keep making money. This is not worth it. You don't want to know what this is. What did no. you see? What the f <sighs> The coins! Nope! <laughs> like I'm gonna start paddling. You Wait. see, J Jeff won't make it to Rockport. If you want that man to live, we stop here. I'm gonna cough up some blood real quick. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> you, for oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you on the shoulder. I'm like you first, then. Gladly. Good. I'd go into port, I guess. Unless You're an idiot. I hate you so much. Is that what you want to do? Is everybody is everybody okay with yes. that? If, I mean, it's Frankie's not, but it's Frankie's a boat, I guess. Pissed. If Frankie's staying on the boat. Three want to go in. 
I think Jeff's gonna just kind of. Jeff, he just wants um, to... I'll, I'll like, cause I'm figure he's bleeding. I can just go ahead and like do some first aid and like tie him, like at least try to keep any. If you would like blood. to do a first aid roll, you can. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hard success! Hey. Ooh, take uh, you gain one point, one HP back. Jeff. Ooh, we got two now, baby. Let's go. Hey, now we're working. There oh we God. go. There so, we go. You pull, pull into port there. Your yellow raft pulls up next to the yellow raft that looks exactly um, like it. The the guy mm-hmm. stands there in front of the raft, still looking down at it. And as you come in. Looking into the next raft, you would be able to see uh, a corpse laying in the raft. It looks, it's wearing the same uniform of the the lighthouse workers from back on the beacon. Sanity roll for this. Fail. Uh, success. Success. Okay. Failure. Fail. Yep. For the failures, mm-hmm. you're going to lose four points. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, it, oh, wow. Don't count that. Although I, on my mistype, I did get a critical success. That's oh <laughs> man. Yeah. So yeah, if you, you see it, if you succeed, you only lose one. Only when you don't mean to roll. Yeah. Um, I, uh. <laughs> uh so so person stumbling toward us we can see in the boat there's our missing person wait 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 a minute if there was if there was there was one more one more person at the lighthouse that's the person at the lighthouse who's who's that then i'm gonna take my paddle and swing are we close to it or are we still far away from it you're not really close to this person okay um but as they see you approach Mm -mm. they go down Pick up this 12 gauge shotgun that's yep. there at their feet. You see this row over a row over a row of teeth that smile as these big bulging eyes on this deep one hybrid glares at you. The coins, it says, as it points the shotgun at all of you for (laughs) it fires and I rolled a 31 versus it's uh, 60 to hit you and it's going to do but but shotguns are like the really just those those are like the easy ones to shrug off right it's like a d4 that's no big deal right right 4d6 Oh, 15 shit. points of damage to everyone? everybody. To all of you. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Valdo's sketchbook <laughs> falls and just you see the blood spatter against the white page. Yeah, okay. So I don't think I did the hit points correctly because there was like I would have still survived, but it's a shotgun blast. So I'll admit I'll be like, yeah, we would I, no, that does not make sense. So And that is the lightless beacon. Oh my god. Before I totally die, I'm gonna glare one more time at Eddie because I'm gonna blame his fucking ass for the same thing. <laughs> I, I don't think that Eddie, there's anything to look of Eddie. I think half of his face is missing, but he does still grin at you. I He's think, still thinking uh, about those coins. Jeff's last word is just ducks. <laughs> As he dies. Ducks! So Ugh, ducks. I knew it. <gasps> and that's the game. Oh, Thank you all for playing with crazy. me. Oh, so bitter. Oh, incredible. God. Boom. I told you, Amanda, it's not a one shot unless we die together. Oh my god! <laughs> At the same time. Oh my god! We, yeah, <laughs> we do. Incredible. Incredible! Oh my goodness! Every time. Oh that was my. Awesome guys! Oh my that god! Was really you are fantastic. Really. Thank you, thank you, awesome. thank you for playing with me. Thank you, London. Of course. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. thank you to Chaosium for this great game. Before we yeah, head out of that here, was amazing. I just want to go around the horn and, you know, plug anything that you would like to. We'll start off with Tay. 
Uh, come and play games with us at Table Tale. Uh, we'll run Call of Cthulhu for you, uh, especially now that I've learned from the true keeper of all keepers over here. Uh, London runs with us. I'm running D&D and things. Come check us out. Play a game. Oh, well, better than heroes is in the chat. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry to stop this, but better than heroes, an awesome hey. um, D and D uh, like uh, stream. Hello, thank you for being in the chat here. Um, sorry, we're going to go back to uh, Frankie here as well. Uh, Amanda, please, wh yes. where can people find you? Uh, well, I was going to say, uh, uh, Caleb and I are a part of Mayday Roleplay, and right now we have. Uh, series on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Delta Green, and we have another one called Ashoka. Uh, we also have a Twitch where we have Mondays where we have games, uh, and we also have a, a current going Starforge one, uh, game going on every Wednesdays, and yeah, and uh, occasionally stuff Fridays. <laughs> Caleb, you can do this better than I can. <laughs> and we'll pass it on to Caleb. Yes, yeah, we will. Uh, my name's Caleb James Miller, and you can find me on Twitter at Ginsburg Song. But you can also find me at Mayday RP. Uh, you can also go to our website, MaydayRoleplay.com, or check us out on Twitch, like Amanda was saying. On Mondays, we do casual video game streaming from a member of ours named Aaron. On Tuesday, we run a Starforged game every week. It's uh, a player-to-player, -player singular, individual tabletop experience that we like to make with the people in the audience. You can submit uh, different details to be a part of our show. On Fridays, we do one shots on that channel. And every week uh, while we have a show going on, we produce a podcast episode. Currently, we're ending our D&D &D campaign named Ashoka. But very soon, we hope to be producing the second season of our Delta Green game, which is very similar to Call of Cthulhu. If you like what London does, you're going to love us. We're, we're you know not as terrifyingly mean as London is, of course. <laughs> But you're going to find plenty of spooks and uh, the, the near quality uh, that we can produce there at Mayday Roleplay. So come check us out whenever you can. Fantastic. And last but not least, Price. Where can people find you? So uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Price Everett. And if you want to follow me on Twitch, uh, Price VA. Uh, if you want to check out any of the voice work I've done, you can check out a podcast I'm in called Home. That's H-U-L-M. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I voice uh, one of the main characters in there called Brant. Uh, and this is definitely, it's been about, uh, since COVID, it's been like over a year and a half since I've done any tabletop games. This has definitely reignited that. I had an absolute blast. Uh, first time playing Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. Fell in love with it. Yeah. Um, I, it was it was so fun. Thank you so much, London. Uh, thank you guys. You Playing with you guys has been awesome. So Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so that, that that's that's me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Jeff. And Jeff, yes. Price Poor and Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, you can find me at London Carlisle on Twitter and Instagram and here on Spot Hidden. Um, love playing games. I love playing Call of Cthulhu. Um, I'm also playing games some else, uh, elsewhere. I'm playing with the Better Than Heroes people. We're not playing Spell Jam or d d We are playing um, um, Duster, which um, Andrew Orvidal, um, it's an original yeah. game, um, like a post-apocalyptic, like, you know, kind of Western type thing. We're going to be doing That's that awesome. in three weeks. Um, next week, I'm um, going to be on the Paizo Twitch. I'm going to be playing some... Uh, Pathfinder um, with Jason Bullman, uh, Xander Genre, uh, Michelle Wynn Bradley, um, and Bonnie Gordon. So that's coming up soon. And follow me on Twitter for, for all that news. Um, but that's, I think, all that I have. And I think that's all um, for this stream. So, yeah. yeah, appreciate your support, chat. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we will catch you later. So stay spoopy. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye Thank everybody. you for having me, London. Thank you guys oh, so much. Yeah.